paste this thing on. I forgot to check before I put the skirt down and I can't see. Um, hold on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna talk to you about the God I believe in while I do push-ups, okay? Push or pull-ups, whatever these are. They're obviously not chin-ups because my chin is hard enough to get my shoulders off the bed. Uh, when I first started doing these, my shoulders didn't come off, off the bed or anything, but I gotta keep working out. So anyway, okay, about this God. It's a God I believe in, not necessarily the same one you do. That's okay, so don't freak out at all the stuff I'm gonna say, because maybe it's not your God, maybe it's just my God, okay? I believe in God that made itself into a skin of human humanity that name was jesus and it came to earth and it died and we killed it but it's okay because it's the spirit of love the spirit love loves us all so much and that's another reason why i want to talk about the spirit of god that loves us all so much is the actually gay Okay, he's gay, he's transgender, he's bi, he is um, also black, white, <laughs> Hispanic, every other color there is in existence. He's also disabled and able-bodied and has every kind of mental illness imaginable. He's a drug addict, he's everything, okay? He's in us all and he loves us all, okay? So Christians, um, he loves them because they celebrate him and they worship him. Um, uh, unsafe people he loves because it, once, as soon as they get to know this God, the reason you want to know this God is because he's cool. He actually smokes weed with me. He actually does the drugs the druggies do with him. He knows why it's hard to stay away from them. This world, this universe that we in is hard for every single one of us but it makes it even harder when we run around judging each other for crap that nobody gives a shit about and god doesn't care if i say shit he doesn't care if i say fuck he doesn't care if people have sex with their like, I don't know, their male lover or their female lover or their transgender person or whatever. He just wants us to not cheat on each other. Don't cheat on each other. That fucks everything up. Okay, as far as abortion goes, then, yeah, God um, doesn't like it. He loves the moms that have to do it. He understands why they make that choice. He just doesn't like it because it destroys a seed before it has a chance to grow into a body, okay? And every body out there is worth something to God, okay? And he wants everybody a chance to... He wants to give everybody a chance to live a life, okay? That's why he doesn't like abortion, but he does like the mothers who do it so don't feel bad if you have you understand this is hard this world is hard not to mention that it's at risk for overpopulation what do you think the coronavirus was all about okay um there's plenty of other reasons that viruses come and kill us off that things come and kill us off but one of the reasons is because our universe is cool god loves our universe and he is capable of saving us all. And so why would you end something as beautiful as whole universe if you could just save it? You could just save it all. Why don't you wait until the universe is about to end itself and then go save them all, take them all back to heaven, which is what he's gonna do. But maybe not all of us, because maybe hell's real. Maybe 
Um, some of us will just be trapped here as ghosts. Maybe we'll go to hell. Maybe we'll get destroyed. I don't know. But when the earth ends, then all I know is that you have to know this Jesus, this God I believe in. You have to know him so you can go where I'm going and where he is, where we all get to live forever. And it's not a fucked up world. That's the cool thing. Because God knew that we were going to fuck this one up, okay? He made the universe, made us all, knew we were going to fuck up. And then he saved us all. Anyway, because it's okay. He made us perfect yet imperfect creatures. He made us to be in his likeness, okay? But that doesn't mean we have everything we need to um, make good choices. I mean, I guess we do have everything we need to technically make good choices. But that doesn't mean we will. And he knew we were going to screw up, but he loves his enemy and he saves us all. And, um, but if you don't believe that, then maybe you'll go to hell. Maybe you'll just die and be a ghost. Maybe you'll get destroyed or be nothing or whatever. But I don't want you to. I want you to go where I'm going. It'll be awesome. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to even do any more of these. Like, my arms are starting to get a little bit stiff. Not necessarily stiff, sore, something. <laughs>